evening. I'll give y'all a couple of minutes and let y'all start coming on, joining me. Then we'll get started. Try and get this up here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oops. Well, get this straight. Scoop this. Okay, someone has joined me. Evening. Hi, Debbie. How are you? I forgot to uh, turn my sound off. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let me take that. Let me take care of that. Yep. Took care of it. Now then. <laughs> pretty good um i'm a little tired um i didn't get to walk this morning uh it was raining so um so we didn't get our walk in and i missed it <laughs> i missed walking and uh, isn't that funny <laughs> anyway so i'm hoping it's not raining in the morning so we can get our walk in i'd like to take the uh the dogs out with us. I think I might can handle Tut now. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm gonna have to, we're gonna have to take him out for me to see if I can handle him. And um, so no, it was next door. They're remodeling the house right next door to us. And, uh, well, it set abandoned for years and years and years. And somebody bought it. And they're uh, remodeling it. And they're really getting close to the end of being done. So they're over there a whole lot. Especially later in the evening and at night. I mean, sometimes they've got one guy that'll sometimes work all night long on it. And, uh, but anyways... I'm going to go ahead and get started, and we'll see who else joins us. Um, I said I didn't know what we was going to make, and then I got to thinking about it. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, I would show y'all how I made this card right here. But I want to show you what happened. <laughs> I was getting everything out. <laughs> well, thank you, Debbie. I was getting everything out and prepping everything, and I pulled out my sponge dauber. Because I'm going to do the little sponging around the uh, sentiment on the front. Well, I, that's not what happened. Let me take that back. Take that back. I was trying to decide if this was cherry cobbler or real red that I stamped on here. And I opened up my cherry cobbler. And I opened up my real red. And I stamped both of them. And one of them I stuck my thumb in. Didn't know I had Picked up my card to move it out of the way. <laughs> and look what I did. I got some of it off. But it's still. And I'm so upset with myself. <laughs> I'm just so upset with myself because I messed up my card. But anywho, you know how that happens. We just, we do things and, and it just happens. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how I made this card right here. I'm going to make it. This, and I'll tell you what, these are never the same. You know, whenever you, you're stamping backgrounds, they're never the same. So, our card base is uh, Garden Green, and it's an A2 size. Um, oh my goodness gracious, <laughs> eight and a half by five and a half. And I have scored it at four and a quarter. And we're going to give it a nice, crisp crease here. Add another dot or two and no one will know. Hey, that's a good idea. I may have to do that. <laughs> anyway, our card's going this way, so I'm going to set it right up there. Here's our envelope. We're going to stamp it too. Anyway, poodles. What I did is I took some, this is just regular white 
Whisper White card stock. This piece right here is four and a half by three and a fourth. This piece is three and a half. Now, let me take this back. I'm telling you the wrong ones. This piece is five and a fourth by four. This is four and a fourth by three. Hi, Barb. Glad you're here. This piece is four by two and three fourths. No. No. This piece, this piece is three and a fourth by two. Yep. This piece is three and a fourth by two. <laughs> I've got my sizes down and I was telling you the wrong ones. Okay. Five and a fourth by four. Four and a fourth by three. Three and a fourth by two. Now, what I'm going to do and what I found is the best. And I know everybody doesn't have snail. <laughs> but snail is not as strong as some adhesive is. So I'm just going to put a small piece right here on the back. And we're going to mount this on this um, four and a fourth by three piece on top of the five and a fourth by four. Getting it in the middle the best that you can because that's where you want it is in the middle. Then we're going to do the same thing with the um, three and a fourth by two. Just a little bit of snail. You don't need much. You just want it enough to hold it still. And then we're going to mount it right in the middle of the um, four, and a, four and a fourth by three inch piece. Now, I am using the uh, Forever Fern stamp set. I'm using this stamp, which I am going to stamp with Pear Pizzazz, my favorite. This stamp, which I am going to use the Garden Green on. And then I'm going to use these little dots, and that's what I'm going to use for the Cherry Cobbler. So, I've got these two mounted on block D's, and I have our little dots on a B. So that's what we're going to do first. I'm going to start with my Garden Green. Excuse me. And I'm going to start with this stamp here. <laughs> I love this stamp too. Hi, Kayla. Glad you're here. Yay. And you just stamp it however how you want. There's, you don't have to do it any certain way. You don't have to do it the way that I do it. You do it how you want to do it. And what you do is you need to be careful and not get any around the edges like me right here. But I'm not going to stamp that part onto my card. Anyway, I am going to come in like this. But stamp firm like that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and clean that off because I want that off of that. Because, well, no, it's not going to matter because I'm not going to do any of them full on there anyway. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> then I'm going to come up here and I am going to, I'm going to flip it around. And I'm going to come right here and I am going to do this. You do not have to have this. Oh, man. Okay, I'm all right. I'm all right. I didn't press firm enough. As firm as I should have. That's okay. Now, you, you can tell there's places that you can't get it all. But that's why we have a background to this. To each size. Is to hide those places like that. Okay, I'm going to come in right here. And I'm going to come in right here. Now then, that's all I'm going to use for that one. Let me go ahead and clean off my stamp right quick. Okay, I'm going to close Starting green up. Now we're going to get our pear pizzazz. 
and we're going to come in with this stamp how I love pear pizzazz <laughs> and we're going to fill in some of these spots here and uh, just going to fill some of them in just different ways and if, if you cover up a little bit of your garden green that's okay because the um, pear pizzazz is so much lighter that it's all right it doesn't show <laughs> so you know you can do it ever how you want to and uh, there we go I'm just going to fill some of these spots up that's that's enough okay I'm going to take my envelope because I'm going to stamp it with this stamp just like that so it ties in with our card and then I'm going to take my piece for the sentiment that I'm going to use and I'm going to do the very same thing I'm making sure that I'm going this away because that's how our card is going to be and then I'm just going to stamp that right there all right that's all of our pear bazaar stamping now then we're going to do our little dots and do them in cherry cobbler and I'm just going to, I don't know if I want to stamp them off. Nope, I'm not going to stamp them off. I'm just going to just stamp them different places here and uh, fill in some of this. It doesn't have to be full, but, uh, you know, sometimes you just like a little bit of something else to go in here to give it a little pop of color. And that's where I'm going with uh, Cherry Cobbler. Because this is definitely a pop of color. <laughs> definitely. Okay. All right. I like that. I like that. I think I'm going to put just a smidgen more right there. All right. That's all I'm going to do there. All of that I'm using. Okay, so we're going to close that up. So that's all our stamping. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Miranda. How are you? I'm so glad you're here. Yay. All right. Now, we're going to stamp our sentiment that goes on the front. I have a piece of Whisper White. And all I'm going to do is stamp it in a um, memento tuxedo. I have it mounted on a C block. And I got that. It comes also from the Forever Fern to a friend that makes me smile. And I'm going to punch this out with the one and a half inch circle punch. So it doesn't matter if it's centered or not and if it's straight because no, it's not. <laughs> It's going to be punched out with the circle anyway. Doing good. Oh, my goodness. I'm glad you're here, too. We are all glad you're here. Yes. All right. Now then, we're going to punch this out. And I'm going to tell you what, it just barely, 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 barely. In fact, I think it takes a little bit of, depending on where you put it. It just, there it goes. See, it just, it just gets it. But I didn't want a big piece. You know, I didn't want a big circle. All right, now, this is where my sponge dropper comes in. We're going to uh, take some of this cherry cobbler and, uh, and we're going to um, just ink around the sentiment circle. That looks good. All right. And you know we're going to pop this baby up. All right, leave that out of the way. Okay. Close this up. We're through with it now. Set it over here. Now, we're going to take this apart very gently like this. I'm going to lay them down. Sometimes it will tear 
the back of your cardstock. See, it started to right here, but I just turned it the other way. But now make sure, make sure, which I just turned it around. You're going to have to make sure that uh, you turn it so that every bit is going in the same direction. <laughs> this is sticky, so I'm going to lay it up this way. This is the piece that is going to go on the front of our card. Yay! Glad you're here, Jesse. Hi, Weenie. I'm glad you're here. I'm going to scoot this up a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to get my liquid glue and I'm going to, well, first of all, what I'm going to do is I have two garden greens. This piece right here is cut at, let me look at my list, <laughs> four and a half by three and a fourth. That's what goes right here. And then uh, this one is cut at three and a half by two and a fourth. And it will go right here. And then this will go on top. Okay? So let's go ahead and get this first. That way if I have any problems, I can... Uh, have it in my hand instead of on the card front and scooch it around because what I want to do really what I should have done is put this on it yep that's what I'm going to do I'm going to put this piece on it yeah I know I, <laughs> I forget what I'm doing and how I'm doing it let me get that glue off right there Okay, now then, we're going to take this piece and we're going to mount it on our card, like this right here. Now, what this piece does, now we have to line this up because you want it with uh, what you have cut here, or stamped, rather, and it match and lay where it was at. You want it to cover any of those that did not totally stamp and that's what it does for you okay so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mount this one on this one right here I'm going to get this one on here and I mean this is this does not take long it really doesn't I have no idea how long we've been going and uh, we're nearly through Mm, excuse me, I'm so sorry. i tell you, I've been reading, <laughs> and maybe I probably shouldn't be reading different things about the lingering effects of COVID, and I'm not happy with what I've been reading. <laughs> uh, I told Johnny, I said, they're saying usually about four months after you start losing your hair. Well, I'm going to tell you, I've got this upside down. I don't have a lot of hair to lose. <laughs> I have thin hair, but it runs in the family on my biological side. My grandma, bless her so, had super thin hair. And uh, I have an, had an aunt that did also. And I'm afraid I'm taking after them with the fact that my hair is thin like theirs was. And, um, so if I start losing my hair, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to have much left. So, I'm praying I don't lose any hair, uh, other than the normal, you know, when you brush after you shower and all that good stuff and you wash it. But, anywho, <laughs> um, but I told y'all last week that the cough is a lingering thing. And it is, Swanee. But it's okay, you know. I'm alive, and that's what I'm thankful for. Okay, now we're going to stamp our inside sentiment on to this piece. I got that from the Timeless Tropical. Our friendship is timeless. I am hoping I have it straight on my uh, block. This is Block H. I'm fixing to test it, and I'm going to see if I do. And make sure that I've got it turned the right way. 
Okay. No. For some reason uh, this this down here is angled up. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try that again. I have to do this especially with these um and look here, I am so crooked. I'm so crooked. It's not even funny. Let's see. Let's try that again. I should have already done this, but I didn't. There was something else I wanted to do after I got everything set out, and I thought I'm going to run do that. That's a little crooked, but I think I can work with it. All right. Okay. So I'm going to put that here. I'm going to lean this. Wait a minute. Which way is it? Okay. I'm sorry if my noggin's in the way. I'm going to try and keep it out of your way. I'm going to lean that down just a little. And I got it leaned really nicely. But hey, that's okay. It's homemade. <laughs> sure, it's not perfect. Far from it. Okay. So I cut. This piece right here is cut at three and a fourth by two. This is my three and a fourth by two piece. This garden green is cut at four and eighth by two and seven eighths that's going to go right here and then i did another piece of the whisper white at four and a fourth by three and i'm going to stack these and they're going to go on the inside right here so we're going to do that first before we finish up the front of our card let me get our liquid glue here and love this stuff <laughs> i like the new um Well, for the life of me, can't even think of what it's called now. Stampin' Seal. I got the Stampin' Seal Plus because everybody said it was a little bit better than the Stampin' Seal to deal with. But I haven't tried it yet. Because, I'll tell you what, the only thing I did in my crafty room this past week was um, finish up the inside stamping on my Christmas cards for church. And that's all I've done. I haven't been back in here. I've just, I've just, it's, it's just been a kind of a uh -huh week, <laughs> and uh, tell you, I'm trying to get my strength built back up. Probably, be, thank you, Kayla. I'm so glad. Uh, I'll probably be going back to work in about three weeks. Uh, I'm gonna tell y'all, honey, I'm, I'm looking forward to going back to work. And I'm not looking forward to going back to work. You know what I'm saying? I, I really, really like being home. But we got a thing from Social Security in the mail. And they told me what my <laughs> that if I retired right now, what I would draw. We can't live on that when Johnny's checking in that. Because that's half of what I make when I work. For a month, and I ju we just can't because we've got bills to pay. Plus, I need the insurance. I'll tell you what, we have been, I have, I, we are blessed with that. I have got a good insurance because uh, I'll tell you, we have not paid anything other than uh, for the insulin I had to have because the insurance won't cover it. Hi, Pam. Oh. Uh, and it was $99, and I only had to buy it twice. And, you know, when everything else has been covered, I mean, when we got, when I pulled up on the insurance and saw that the insurance paid for everything, I cried, you know. And then I told Johnny, and we were praising God, because I didn't know how we were going to pay all of that. And the amounts were not just the hospital but the doctors and everything that they did was unreal and you know when god takes care of you like that <laughs> you, you can't do anything but praise him <laughs> I, 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 I was just like whoa <laughs> it's awesome you know god's taking care of us and he's he, he's just he's an awesome god he is an awesome god okay now, look at there, that's crooked. <laughs> oh, well. I am going to take some linen thread. And I know I have a an end somewhere. Okay, we're just going to take that in right there. I'm just going to pull some off. 
Okay, I'm gonna wind it. I'm gonna spread my fingers out as far as I can. A three. Four. I think I'm just gonna wind it four times. Come up here, get my ribbon snips here. Okay, lay that right there. Okay. Now. Now. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this stamping seal and I'm going to put some right there and I'm going to lay this. I think I need to uh, join it together. <laughs> oh, thanks guys. Y'all just don't know how, how awesome y'all are to me. I'm just... I'm so blessed with such wonderful friends. I am, I am. And I'm so thankful for y'all. So thankful. Now then, I'm going to try and spread this out. Not going to say it's going to work, but look there, it wants to curl up. That's okay. I'm not going to, I'm not going to fret it. I'm not going to fret it. So we're going to, oops. <laughs> All right, that one wants to escape. Now then, now I'm going to put some um, dimensionals on here, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them right here. Put one right there, I'm going to put one right there, and I'm just going to pull these off with my thumbnail instead of getting my take your pick tool out, and I'm going to lay this right here. And there's our card. <laughs> Even if it is a little crooked dated, there is our card. Look at that. Is that not wonderful? I love this technique. I'll tell you what, let me show you the very first one. Thank you so much, Debbie. There's our envelope. Let's move this out of the way because it's got sticky on it. Oh no, it's gotten on the back of my card. Why am I doing something to everything I've done today? Ah! Okay. Let's get that off my fingers. I wipe it on my shirt. It'll be out. It'll be all right. Anyway, so here's the inside. What it looks like. Ta-da! I love it. I love this. I do. I do. I love this. Now, I'm tell you, the one that I practice on before I got Debbie over here, or Debbie over here, <laughs> I got Jessie over here to show her how to do it. I use the, um, which one did I use? The, man, uh, the hugs one. I know the name of it, <laughs> but for the life of me, I'll tell you what, another thing that it messes with is your mind. It makes you forget things, I swear. I... My mind wasn't the best in the world anyway, but it's, it's gotten a little worse <laughs> since I was sick. But anyway, this is what I did, is I used it and made one and got did get well soon, wishing you a quick and complete recovery. The only thing is, is there's so much of just white that shows around it. I'm going to have to perfect this card <laughs> and make another one because I don't like this, you know. But uh, that's a good one to use. You want to use one that you, I, it's like I told Jesse, I didn't want to use something you're going to have to color. You want to use something that's solid so that you can, um, you know, just stamp it and put it together. And I'm so glad you like it. Yay. Yay. I love this technique. I don't know why I have not shown y'all this. And if Jesse hadn't said she wanted to learn how to make it, I probably wouldn't even thought about it. It's been so long since I have done it. And, uh, but, um, any hoodaloos, there is our card for this week. And, uh, we may make something Christmassy next week. Yeah. Yep. Or snowy. Because it's so hot. You know, we may make something either Christmassy or snowy next, snowy next week. So, Y'all come back.
next Monday evening, 7 Central. I plan on being here, good Lord willing. Y'all have an awesome week. I do have one prayer request. I have a, There's a lady at church. Her name is Doris Perdue. She had, had uh, cancer and um, thought she had beat it and had pretty much beat it. And then she started getting sick again. And her blood count is down. She's very, very weak. And uh, they're doing tests, and they think that the cancer has came back. They have not found out for sure yet. But anyway, her name is Doris Purdue. So if y'all would pray for her and her husband, Tom, I sure would appreciate it. They are awesome people. They took on their granddaughter to raise, and uh, she is a fine young lady. And... Um, so I'd appreciate it. And if y'all have any prayer requests, list them on here. I have a sheet. I put prayer requests on. And I pray for them every day. And yes, y'all are on my sheet. I always pray for y'all. Y'all are so awesome. And I thank you so much. I really do appreciate y'all. I love y'all bunches and bunches. Y'all have an awesome blessed week. And uh, get in your crafty room. Show me what you're making. I love to see what you're doing. And good Lord willing, like I said, I'll see y'all here again next Monday evening, 7 Central. Bye.